I got backpacking tips you may not ever have seen before. So stick around, I'll show you what they are. All right, so you know what? These are tips that I have learned over my last couple of years hiking. Some of them you may already know, some you might not know, but I think you might, eh. anyways, I hope you glean something from this. So let's get started with tip number one. Okay, tip number one, trekking poles. Yeah, I know you're thinking, yeah, what are you gonna tell us about trekking poles, Lynn? Well, when you hike, your hands sweat. And when you sweat, you leak salt, basically. Your hands, your sweat has salt, salt gets embedded in your handles. Well, guess what? Deer like salt. And we've heard stories of campers who have hung up their clothing only to find them chewed up in the morning because the deer have pulled them off and ate them. So collapse your poles, Put them in your tent, because the last thing you want are your trekking poles to be drug out into the middle of nowhere and have the handles chewed off. So there's tip number one. Okay, so they say variety is the spice of life. I have to agree, especially when you're out backpacking and you're eating the same crap day in and day out. What I do is I take those mountain house meals, you know, the expensive ones, and I open them up and I divide them up into two separate meals from each bag. Because a lot of times I don't want to eat the same thing. I may not be as hungry. And some of those meals are pretty big. So what I do, and I'm not gonna cut them apart, but divide them up and put them in the Ziploc freezer bag with the blue top. You gotta have the blue top. Otherwise you're gonna melt the bag. I will divide them up. I label them. And then I put them in a vacuum sealed bag together. And yeah, sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Because a lot of times I kind of go, ah, I don't want beef stew and chili mac. However, my last trip that we took, I think it was the um, uh, oh, Cascade Loop, Chain Lakes Loop Trail. That's what we took. It was the Chain Lakes Loop Trail. Yep, I'll link it right up here. Cascade Loop Trail, Chain Lakes Loop Trail. I took chili mac and teriyaki rice. And I ended up, <laughs> stupid me, cut it open with a knife and I ended up cutting one of the bags open so I couldn't really fill it up with water. So what I did is I mixed the two together and I had chili mac teriyaki rice. So it would be what, chili mac rice, something like that. It was awesome. So anyways, do that and you can actually save a half a meal if you're not that hungry or you can have a variety or you can mix the two together. Okay, tip number four. I love this one because I hate doing dishes. How many of you get up there in the mountains, you got scrody, you've been up there for four or five days, you're dumping your food into your cook pot and there's minimal water, no water at all, it starts to stink, it gets crusty, ew, who knows? You might even get sick from it. So here's what I do. Take your cook pot, Pull all your stuff out, obviously, yada, yada, yada. You've cooked everything up. You boiled your water, right? Remember these? Put these in the bags. In the Ziploc baggie with the blue top, right? So you've, you've, you've put your food in here. Actually, your food's already in here. You pour your hot water in, you seal it up, you put it in your cozy, you let it cook, you let it wait. And then what do you do? You can't eat it. You can eat it out of the bag, but you gotta wait till it cools off. Sometimes that can take forever. So what you do is you take that hot food and you just stuff the bag inside the pot, open it up, and it's soft enough. By then the plastic, you just kind of roll it around here. Look at that. You get done eating, you pull the bag out, pot's clean. Zip the bag back up and throw it away. And there you have it, clean pot. Tip number five, your meds or ibuprofen, uh, Imodium, whatever you wanna take. If you're gonna only go up for a couple of days, you don't need to be tacking up those whole punch tablet things like Imodium and Pepto-Bismol come in that have, you know, 14 tabs on them and 
or tear them off. That's all extra weight. I'm not a gram weenie, but you know, you're always trying to save a little bit here and there. I have to take specific meds. So if I go up for a multiple, multiple day hike or a backpacking trip, an overnight trip, I want to keep those things separate because I don't want to have to dig through and sort out all my meds. So I use these little babies right here, right there. Get them from my local crack dealer. Just kidding. Get them on Amazon. I think they're like 500 of them in a bag or a thousand of them in a bag for like five bucks. They're real cheap. You can separate out your meds on a daily basis or you can put like, you know, 20 or 30 ibuprofen in there or Advil or whatever you want. They're small. You can throw them in your ditty bag or if you have to take daily meds and you're up for three, four, five, six days, you can have them all set ready to go. So that's tip number five. And we're going to do tip number six. This is a great one. You guys are going to love this. Watch more of my videos. That's tip number six. Hey, thanks for watching. If you gleaned anything great out of this or something you didn't know, or maybe something you already know, but you forgot, and I reminded you about it, go ahead and smash that like button down there or just click it, whatever suits your needs and give me the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and stick around because we're going to go on a trip here pretty soon and we're not telling you where, but you're going to find out soon enough. Thank you.